Welcome to the Road to Glasgow. We're back here at the Albion Hotel, Wickham in Newcastle. This is where it all began, and if you can't remember what happened a few months ago, check this out. Just to give you a bit of an idea at the moment, we've got Collis Birmingham, who sort of broke away. Uh, we've got Sammy Chalanga, and way back in behind them, I'll just grab them, I'll actually bring them on the screen to give you a bit of a context, but we've got, um, we've got Hamer and Adams, right? So we better get another one here. Hamer and Adams. What I suggest you do, if you come down and get a Wagyu burger tomorrow at the Albion Hotel, just yes. make sure they've got clean new tents. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't use these ones. Mel Bubb. Well, Mossy, it is the road to Glasgow, and I can tell you now it's 47 days to go, and it's great news coming out of Glasgow this week. They have finished the athletics track at Hamden Park, as you can see here. Looks absolutely magnificent, and they've even found a little spot for us down there for the tartan couch, so we can't get, wait to get over there to test it out. But Mossy, some big news out of Australia I, this week. I was going to say, Robert, that's news, but the biggest news of all is the Australian Commonwealth Games team uniforms have been released, and I'm calling for a royal commission because of the community's response, because I think I'm the only person in the world that actually oh. likes these uniforms, Robbo. Mossy, I think before we say anything further, let's let you decide out there, folks. I want to just show you a little bit of footage of the unveiling of the Australian Com Games uniform. One by one, the Australian athletes arrived in Glasgow. Glasgow Street, downtown Melbourne. The uniform oozes Australiana. A hooded rainforest green jacket, complete with wattle piping and grey gum chino pants. The colours, straight from the Australian bush. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I saw this Cardi and I uh, pretty much said, yeah, shotgun. Um, I sort of came into the studio wearing something pretty similar. Obviously not green and gold, uh, green and dark green but um yeah now it's come out really well and as you can see there robbo uh in particular jeff risley looking stunning as with that pullover oh, I, I loved his call there just saying you know he he had uh had dibs on on the uh on the green the he green. said shotgun robbo he's, <laughs> he out, shotgun. he's out there those runners i'm calling him the green wiggle he looks so good uh so I'm, you're a fan i'm a huge fan i think the fact that the uh, how could you not love the gray gum Chinos there that lead straight down into the grey gum volleys, Robbo. The volleys well, are back. I Mossy, love it. Mossy, I'm glad you mentioned the volleys because that is the one uh, saving grace, I think, of this uniform. I'm not a big fan at all. I'm one of the haters. Uh, look, the volleys I'm a big fan of. You know, the volleys, they, they reek Australiana and it's great to see that we've stuck with them. Where are um, they made? Uh, uh, let's move on. Pretty okay. sure. Some, one of our Australian... <laughs> Brunswick or something like that. But Mossy, the, the colours are just all over the place. It looks a bit, you know, like a bit of a washing machine and all sorts of different colours. What happened to just the standard old green and gold of 2006? See, they even had a little bit of tartan back at these games at Melbourne too. Why can't we have something just, you know, conservative and normal like that? Well, look at your tie, Robbo. It looks exactly like the Australian uniform. So you're a little bit split here pledging your allegiance to the uniform but then you say you don't like it so it's a bit confusing for not well, just me but everyone i'm calling royal commission there you go well mossy i've seen kermit the frog uh that's been the label of the uh, uniform i think it's more of a clyde uh a similarity and so i'll give you that I'll, I'll i'll be happy with that as well but mossy a couple of things i would like to have seen um I don't know, Sally Pearson's big on this. Why isn't this part of the uniform, the Sally Pearson arm sleeves? They should be there. Uh, also, yeah, look, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Also, Robert. Mossy, I would love to have seen all our Aussies dressed in this sort of thing. All right, the Jimmy hat, uh, nice and green with the, the hair coming out the back there. Uh, obviously, we've got the, the Tam O'Shanter here what as well. What else have you got over there, this is, look, look, Mossy, this is what you and I'll be wearing, the green and gold uh, kilt over there on the streets of Glasgow. And I'm disappointed there wasn't this uh, included in the uniform as well, but truth be told, and we, we should be honest here, we, we put forward our suggestions for the uniform for the Commonwealth Games team, and this is it here, uh, Mossy, talk us through what we've got. Well, as you can see here, this is, and, and should well be, this is the casual outfit. You've got a nice tartan couch t-shirt, you've got yourself a pair of jeans, you can bring your own jeans, you don't have to wear the, the ones, and a lot of the kids these days, they like the skinny leg jeans. Nick Boyich out there, he's one of those in particular that yes. likes it, um, and you can wear whatever shoes you want, um, in, but I would bring the volleys in I would yeah well look and, and then you've got obviously the after dinner wear and so this is the more formal approach that we did suggest to the Australian Commonwealth Games team and you see you know a little addition there we've got the uh, the official tie we've got the blazer and off you go you're ready for uh, for your haggis meal uh, later on after your competition Robbo, let me tell you, big news, mate. You tell us. Well, Mossy, uh, look, this was huge. This Literally, we're only just reeling from the announcement ourselves. Uh, the Australian athletics team has been announced for the Glasgow Com Games. 
It's the biggest team ever, Mossy. Biggest team in history. 103 athletes. I thought it was actually like the tallest. Team yeah, well, when it's they biggest, say that it's the biggest. There's some, it, it, there's some there's some tall timber on there as well. So yeah, it's, I think it's the biggest in any way that you want to measure it. Uh, 103 athletes have been named across the run, jump, and chuck disciplines. And uh, Mossy, it's going to be great to. Uh, jump on the plane. Who, who are you looking forward to sitting next to on the plane when we head over? Oh, Collis Birmingham yeah. and Josh Ralph on the other side. Yeah. That's that's pretty much my only you've request. Called, you've called shotgun on, yeah. uh, on that seat. <laughs> you and you and Jeff uh, Risley. Yeah. yeah David. Who, what about yourself, mate? I'm Look, sure. I can't. Who is it? I can't wait to hang out with the Peacock brothers. Uh, there's been three Taswegians selected: uh, Tristan Thomas, Hugh Peacock, and Hamish Peacock. So I can't wait to catch up. I, I understand Tr- there are a couple of jokesters, is, pranksters. Is, is Tristan part of the brotherhood there? I think so. I think he's a distant cousin of the Peacocks. Uh, Ollie Worm told me that one night. Uh, so, but Mossy, great to see uh, a big, a, a big, big squad of athletes selected. It's been a long time since we've seen the size of this squad, and I can't wait to see them all doing well. And I reckon they're all going to lift to the occasion. What about some standouts for you? Probably the uh, standout for me uh, was Jen Lacars and the fact that she, we knew she would get selected if she ran an A qualifier, and that's what she did. She went out there, run a personal best during the week in the uh, steeple. What that did, though, was allow the size of the team to get bigger because that unleashed the third athlete rule. Uh, and Maddie Heiner gets yes. to go to the Commonwealth Games, and what a great story. Eight years out from the sport, was a bit disillusioned, has come back in a lot freer, she's fit, she's firing, and now she's going to the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, look, it's absolutely amazing, and I love this moment when Ryan Gregson, uh, Jen Lacaz's boyfriend, was interviewed over at the Prefontaine Classic at the, at the time that he found out she'd run that A qualifier. Really? So my girlfriend just did a PB. You know what? Nine thirty-six in the steel chase. A standard. So she got a Commonwealth Games. So that's amazing. Can't believe it. Um, yeah. Anyway, this this B race. That's as big as any race. Yeah. In any meet in Europe. So Mossy, I totally am on board with you there with the uh, the A getting the extra person across there and a couple of other events. If we look over at the jumps, uh, Brooke Stratton did the same thing in the women's long jump. And so what she's done is open up the, the door for a couple of other long jumpers, Jess Penny and Margaret Gayen, who's also been selected for the relay as well. And then in the chucks, we saw the same thing happening with the men's javelin. And Josh Robinson opened up the door for Hamish Peacock, as we mentioned, and Luke Can, a left arm chucker from the VIS. So it's great to see these oh, big teams. I love people that are just opening up the door there, my friend. <laughs> Last, lastly, Mossy, a final mention for... Don't stop, Robo. Well, Keep the, going. Well, you run, are pumped. You the, are pumped. The run, jump, chuck discipline. Now, we only got the one heptathlete going over there from uh, Newcastle, Sophie Stanwell, but in the men's decathlon. And when was the last time we saw men's decathlon uh, being... You know, competed for, represented by Australia. So Jake Stein, he's already booked his flight, but Steve Kane, uh, he's got his his ticket on the flight as well. So congratulations to those guys, and well done to everyone that's been selected. Mossy, uh, did Mono actually announce our names yet? We'll have to wait and see. I think he did. Yep, yeah, good. Yeah. So Robo, one big one that I want to just throw in there, not even in our show notes here, but. Massive thanks to everyone with a possible campaign. We said it last week, but it's now gone well above the 10,000, which allows us to upgrade from two-minute noodles, not just that, to now now. the the, uh, five-minute pasta. We're actually going all the way up, Robbo, and we're going to be able to take some uh, chicken dinner delight over there. Yes, and also hoping to try uh, introduce you to Iron Brew. Uh, It's the official beverage of the game, most popular drink in Scotland, so I look forward to shouting you one of those, Mossy. Well, that's about all we've got time for as we round the home straight. <laughs> and there's the bell lap and Mossy. Uh, look, it's been an absolute pleasure. Well done to everyone that's been selected again. Absolutely pumped. We can't wait to join you on the plane to Glasgow. And remember, folks, run, jump and... Chuck. chuck. Out in front, Sammy Chalanga winning the Zatapec 10 and the new national champion, Collis Birmingham. And where's he going? Oh, he is going to. Where's he off to? He's going to Glasgow. Glasgow. <laughs> and oh, look, we're going too. If Collis is going, we're going. Where are you going, Robbo? Let's go. <laughs> Collis Birmingham, let's get there, son. Come on. Yes, we'll see you in Glasgow, folks. Not get running.